probably the hardest part about this is being able to figure out if we're using ASA or AAS. So just remember that for ASA, the side is in between the two angles that are congruent. And for AAS, the side is next to it. They're not, um, it's not in between. So in this particular problem, they said ST is congruent to UT. So these two little ones here. And then angle SRT and UVT, so these angles. Then we'll also do vertical angles right here. Um, RTS and VTU because of vertical angles. So we had this, this angle way out here, the vertical angle, and then a side that is not between it. So in this particular one, we'll use AAS. And then we just get to write down all of the all of the things that they gave us. So we're going to start with, I just like to say, okay, let's just send everything to the proof. So we're going to send this to the proof, send this to the proof, and send this to the proof. Now the next one we're going to do is we're going to say that these two are congruent. Um, and it's because all right angles are congruent. So we're going to say angle, boom, DEF, is congruent to angle, where's my angle symbol? There it is, GHF. And that's just all right angles are congruent. Where do they have that? There we go. All right angles are congruent. Validate it, just make sure. Then we're gonna put, um, we're, we're gonna need the vertical angle. That's just the one we're gonna do. So we'll do DFE. So wait, we have to put uh, angle. DFE is congruent to angle. Now I have to do the right order. So I did first, third, second. So I'm going to do GFH. And that's for vertical. Let's see, vertical angles property. Hmm. I thought it was just all vertical angles are congruent. Okay, now we're going to send this to the proof, but we have to figure out if it's ASA or AAS. So I'm going to go ahead and draw so you can see. So we said DEF and GHF. So DEF and G. So these two were congruent. And then uh, we knew these two were because they're vertical. And then EF and HF. So where's EF? Oh, is between. So we're going to use the ASA. So once you know it's between, then you use the... Um, ASA. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, there we go. That's weird. I didn't know I had to scroll down. Validate says the proof is done. And then you check it to make sure you put the, the right things in. Did it say it's right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Next one. Ah, good. So same thing. We're going to do all right angles are congruent. So we're going to have to type in these two angles. Angle. ACB is congruent to angle ACD. Man, these touch screens are way better. Okay, so right, all right angles are congruent. And then we're going to have to do AC is congruent to AC. So we need our little, I do this, does it keep the line going? It does. Okay, so I have to do the right arrow and then congruent. And then this again. And this is just um, reflexive. Okay, so now we have to figure out if it is um, ASA or AAS. So let's look at this really quick. They told us ACB, AC, okay, so these two are congruent. And then ABC <clears throat> must be this one and this one, and then this. Okay, so if you just look at one of the triangles, notice that it's uh, the side is not included. So this one is going to be the AAS. So we're going to come here, we'll scroll down, and we're looking for, nope, not that one. I can't see, how come? Oh, there it is. AAS, validate, and then check. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.